Ralph Richardson, a strong presence in classic Hollywood, made a lasting impact on the film world. Whether it's a memorable performance or an interesting fact, everyone has a favorite piece of his work. What's yours? Share in the comments and stay tuned for fascinating, funny, and touching stories about this legendary actor. From behind-the-scenes tales to surprising details, there's a lot to discover. What's your most special memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor? We'd love to hear your stories. Keep an eye out for more and get ready for a mix of emotions. Share your thoughts below. Born on December 19, 1902, in Cheltenham, England, Ralph Richardson grew up in a middle-class family. His father, a successful merchant, provided a stable upbringing where he developed an early interest in the arts. Unfortunately, he lost his mother at a young age, which subtly influenced his later performances, adding depth to his portrayals. Raised in a supportive family, his initial exposure to theater occurred during school days. As a teenager, he participated in amateur dramatics, sparking his passion for acting. The local theater scene in Cheltenham nurtured his talent, setting the stage for a significant journey. In 1921, at 18, he moved to London to pursue acting. Early experiences on the city's stages molded him, exposing him to diverse roles and refining his craft. A fortuitous encounter with actress Edith Evans proved transformative, shaping his understanding of the art and laying the groundwork for a lasting professional relationship. His career blossomed in the 1930s, marked by his association with the old Vic Theatre Company. This collaboration honed his skills and solidified his status as a distinguished stage actor. His repertoire expanded beyond theatre, venturing into British cinema. World War II temporarily interrupted his ascent as he served in the Royal Air Force. This challenging period contributed to his growth as an individual and actor. Upon the war's conclusion, he resumed theatrical pursuits, achieving critical acclaim for stage performances. The 1950s and 1960s saw his flourishing film career with standout roles in classics like The Sound Barrier and The Heiress. His distinctive voice and commanding presence captivated audiences, earning him accolades and solidifying his position as one of Britain's finest actors. His personal life intertwined with his professional journey he married actress Muriel Forbes in 1944. Their partnership endured, adding a stable foundation to his life amid the tumult of a thriving career. Looking back, his early years, marked by familial support, formative theater experiences, and wartime challenges, laid the groundwork for a successful career that encompassed both stage and screen. The echoes of his early life are evident in the nuanced performances that have left a lasting impression on the world of acting. Ralph Richardson faced challenges beyond the spotlight, grappling with substance abuse and addiction during his acting career. Despite his on-screen success, personal struggles cast a shadow over his journey. The demands of fame, coupled with the intense pressures of the entertainment industry, led him down a precarious path. The tumultuous period of World War II, where he served in the Royal Air Force, became a turning point. The harsh realities of war, coupled with the strains of military life, presented challenges that lingered beyond the battlefield. Coping with the aftermath, he found solace in unhealthy coping mechanisms, succumbing to the allure of substances that provided temporary escape. These struggles manifested in his performances, adding complexity and depth to his portrayals. The echoes of personal battles resonated in the nuances of his acting, creating a poignant connection between on-screen characters and the real struggles he faced off-camera. It was a silent battle that unfolded parallel to his illustrious career, hidden behind the glamour of Hollywood. In the midst of these challenges, he found support in his enduring partnership with actress Muriel Forbes. Their marriage served as a stabilizing force, offering a semblance of normalcy amid the chaos. The unwavering bond with Forbes became a source of strength, allowing him to navigate the turbulent waters of addiction and find moments of respite. Ralph Richardson's life is not just a tale of cinematic triumphs, but also a reflection of the human struggle against personal demons. His journey reflects the fragility of even the strongest personas, emphasizing the importance of resilience and support in the face of adversity. Substance abuse and addiction, like co-stars in his life's script, played their roles, leaving a lasting impact on the actor's legacy. Interred at Highgate Cemetery, Highgate, London, England, UK, Ralph Richardson found his final resting place in the serene surroundings of the historic burial ground. The solemnity of the location befits a man whose career left a lasting impact on English theatre and cinema. 
As part of a trio of eminent English stage actors, he collaborated with Laurence Olivier and John Gielgud in the epic miniseries Wagner, released shortly after his passing. The collaboration showcased their collective talent, creating memorable scenes appreciated by fans of classic performances. In 1936, he ventured into cinema with two adaptations of H.G. Wells' novels Things to Come and The Man Who Could Work Miracles. This move into film highlighted his versatility, seamlessly transitioning from the stage to the silver screen. The gravitas he brought to the screen echoed the depth cultivated in his formative years. Raised in a middle-class family, his early exposure to theater during school days sparked a passion for acting. Moving to London at 18, he navigated the city's stages, honing his craft and forming a lasting professional bond with actress Edith Evans. World War II briefly interrupted his ascent, serving in the Royal Air Force. The challenges of wartime, both on and off the stage, contributed to his growth as an individual and actor. Post-war, he resumed his theatrical pursuits, garnering acclaim for stage performances. The 1950s and 1960s witnessed a flourishing film career with standout roles in classics like The Sound Barrier and The Heiress. His commanding presence and distinctive voice captivated audiences, solidifying his status as one of Britain's finest actors. While his on-screen success is celebrated, he faced personal struggles battling substance abuse and addiction. The aftermath of World War II and the demands of fame led him down a precarious path. Yet, amidst these challenges, his enduring partnership with actress Muriel Forbes served as a stabilizing force, offering moments of respite amid the turmoil. In conclusion, his journey from the vibrant stages of London to Highgate Cemetery reflects not just cinematic triumphs, but the human struggle against personal demons. His life is a story of resilience and support in the face of adversity, a narrative firmly embedded in English acting history. Ralph Richardson's portrayal of Dr. Austin Sloper in The Heiress showcased his ability to command attention on the screen. While Olivia de Havilland wisely chose director William Wyler for his meticulous approach, it was his improvisations that stole scenes from under her nose. Wyler, recognizing his strength, became a staunch supporter amid challenges, including Montgomery Clift's dismissive attitude towards de Havilland's talents. Honored for his stage work, Richardson was knighted in the 1947 King's New Year Honors list, solidifying his standing in the theatrical realm. This recognition acknowledged his significant role in the world of performing arts. Adding to his diverse repertoire, he portrayed both God in Time Bandits and the Devil in Tales from the Crypt. These contrasting roles underscored his versatility, seamlessly transitioning from divine to demonic characters, showcasing the depth of his acting prowess. His journey extends beyond the spotlight, delving into personal struggles with substance abuse during his career. Despite on-screen success, the demands of fame and the pressures of the entertainment industry led him down a precarious path. World War II served as a turning point, contributing to challenges that lingered beyond the battlefield. His coping mechanisms unfolded on screen, intertwining personal battles with the characters he portrayed. Interred at Highgate Cemetery, his final resting place befits a man whose career left a lasting impression on English theater and cinema. As part of an eminent trio with Laurence Olivier and John Gielgud, their collaboration in the miniseries Wagner showcased their collective talent, creating memorable scenes appreciated by fans of classic performances. In conclusion, his journey from the stages of London to Highgate Cemetery reflects not just cinematic triumphs, but the human struggle against personal demons. His life is a story of resilience and support in the face of adversity, firmly embedded in English acting history.